Hello! So today I'm going to show you how to start a drawing of Sydney Harbour, and this is in Australia. Everyone say, good day, mate. And I want to show you first a picture of the Sydney Opera House, because when we think of architecture, so the different buildings and structures um, of Australia, the very first thing I think of is the Sydney Opera House. And look at the the different pointed parts of the roof. So this was designed to look like ships sailing into the harbor. So that is why it has this interesting design on it. And I wanna show you this artist, Ken Dunn. And Ken Dunn loved to paint a lot of these kind of city scenes in Australia. And he is very, very popular there. And look at all the different colors he uses. So. When we're making our drawing today, I'm going to show you how to start it, but you really get to interpret how you want to make the picture, just like Ken Dunn kind of interpreted his own colors. Look at all these little dashed lines in the water showing all that movement. How would you describe this day that is going on? So look here. Don's work is brightly colored, busy, and fun. Doesn't this look busy? So to me, uh, my first thought is this weather must be beautiful. Blue skies, sunny skies, it must feel great because everybody is out on their boats in the harbor. And then you have the Sydney Bridge in the background. So these are kind of the two things we're going to focus on in this picture. So this will be an inspiration, but like I said, you're going to you're going to make it your own. Now what I recommend is looking at pictures. If you search Sydney Harbor, you can see different pictures. Oh, you know what? I'm going to flip it to the front of the book because there it is. This is uh, Artists of the World Cities. So you can look at different pictures of the harbor and get your own idea of how you want to make your picture. So basically what I'm going to start with is I'm going to start with the bridge. I'm going to include the Sydney Opera House. You can interpret what's going to be on the water and the buildings, but I'll show you some ways to draw that. So I'm going to start with the two sort of bases of my bridge and I'm just going to make two beginnings of rectangles and a little mini rectangle on top. Then I'm going to be connecting this with an archway and I'm going to keep it real simple. Now I'm starting with Sharpie but of course um, use pencil so if you're making mistakes you can erase it. But what I love about his work too is it's not perfectly drawn. It's not or perfectly painted. It's not supposed to look like a you know, a photograph of it. So we're just using the lines and shapes of this harbor, and then we can kind of change it up on our own. So I've got this sort of archway, and then I'm gonna have my line going across. So pretty simple, actually. Um, and then you can go in and, like, let me see if I have my little, little base here. You've got these lines going down. Now I'm making these all just thin lines because I am using the Sharpie but you could make them like if you wanted to go in and make them thick, cause then you could add some color to it. I think that would look really nice. And then look at this wonderful zigzag line. So I think I, I will make kind of a little base cause I think this would be fun um, to be able to have that color in there. How would the color change the scene? If I did this whole picture, here's my zigzag line. If I did this whole scene in blues, purples, greens, kind of cool colors. How would that change how it feels? So there's the beginning of my bridge. That just looks like a fun design, doesn't it? So there's there's that, and I'm gonna draw the base here. And you can see there's little, looks like palm trees on there. So here I wanna just have kind of the little, the little coast here. And I'm just going to make a line that curves on down. And this is just gonna show me where the city is and then here's where I'm gonna have the opera house. So I'm gonna just make a line coming out. So the opera house is sticking out into the harbor. I'm gonna give it a little base like this, and then I'm gonna figure out how I'm gonna do the sails. So I'm gonna make this look a little bit different than this picture. If you wanted to do it simple like this, you could. So I'm gonna start off with a little, kind of a little mountain and put a line down the middle. I'm just starting with one at a time. So this is gonna be my first sail. I'm gonna go up and curve it, and I'm gonna come down. And then I'm just gonna make that a little bit thicker here, like a little shadow. Then I'm gonna do the next one coming out. 
and this kind of angled out this way a little bit more and down again this is the part where i really recommend go look up pictures figure out how you want to make it and you can look up um, how other artists have done this i might just make a little piece right here so there's just some of these the little sails coming out see how i just have sort of a zigzag line i'm liking how i have these different zigzag lines in here and i'm going to come out like this almost looks like a shark fin and i'm going to make this black in here i'm going to do one more above this one and then one more to the side and just one more down here how cool to see to to visit this building so that looks a lot more complicated than that so you but you can change it up they've got little stripes here so i'll just put some little kind of stripes to show the difference in there okay then i'm going to draw a line over like this so now i basically have here is sort of like the entrance this is all the harbor this is where you get to fill it in with different boats maybe you're going to have a scene where things are maybe there's um, a sailboat race and you're going to show that in your picture maybe you're going to have different yachts or cruise ships coming in just remember as you go further back here things will look a little bit smaller because they are further away right so if i had a little you know little sailboats back here and you can do them real simple you know just make these little triangles those would get bigger as they get closer so maybe i am going to have this is sort of a little race and i'm just making simple little boat shapes maybe this is just a smaller one there okay so maybe they're all kind of going there what a, and that's a great way to have pops of color in there too and if I wanted to have like a little cruise ship, you can see in here we've got the little cruise ship or the yacht. I'm gonna start with a little shape like this and I'm just gonna build layers on it, up, over, down, up, over, down, just like that and just put in some little dashes, little dots for windows. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, and then you can make little lines for the waves. I do love all of his little lines. Can you imagine if you used all different little colored pencils and just speckled in lots and lots of colors you could start dark and get lighter and then if i'm going to add you can have you know a road there would be some kind of road along here maybe i'll just show part of that road and then you're going to have some buildings and you can look up pictures to get better ideas i'm just going to draw some different buildings whatever let, let me see get some rectangles behind there Maybe a shorter one here. See, I'm even having them tilt. I'm really not worried um, exactly how this looks. Maybe make a little base there. Do do, just like this. And then I'm gonna put some little lines again. That's what I like with the Sharpie. I can make these little dashes in here. I'm gonna make some different shape windows. Maybe some U windows here. Just do upside down U's. Just, I just want it to look like buildings. I'm not really worried about it looking like specific buildings. And you can, you know, put buildings behind and front. Maybe I'll have another one here. Okay. Maybe this is going to have some different lines in here. Really think about line and shape and repeating different lines and shapes to make patterns. And think about it more um, in that way than making it look exactly like something so there are some buildings so really it's looking like the harbor right and i can add some other um details in here now this is further away so what's nice is when things are further away i'm just going to put some little lines you have less detail so you don't have to worry about it looking exact you can add some other little buildings on here this is the part where it's up to you how much detail if you really love all the detail and you want to look at photographs and get the different buildings in the right spots you definitely can do that if you want it to look more like a fun illustration so i think i'm gonna have some more boats coming off of here and this would be kind of like where the sky meets the ocean right so now this would all be sky so you could do this at night too how beautiful would that be if you did all the windows kind of kind of glowing with lights and maybe some lights shining on the sydney opera house and maybe some little lights reflecting off the water and then stars in the sky. You could do it a sunrise picture or a sunset so you have those beautiful colors. And I would definitely use crayons in that and overlap the crayons. You could do fun colors like this. Or you might want to look at actual photographs and say, I want this to be 
this color and this color because that's how it matches. So this is just a way to start your Sydney Harbor drawing and yours will definitely look different than mine and that's a great thing. Good luck being inspired by this beautiful place. I hope I get to go there one day.